Hi, my name is Jennifer. I am a rehabilitation therapy assistant and a certified Fit Paws master trainer. This is Flyer, and today we're going to teach you how to properly stretch your dog. Stretching your dog has many advantages, including reducing the stiffness of joints while keeping them mobile, increasing circulation, reducing inflammation and scar tissue formation, and improving range of motion and flexibility. Stretching can also help with recovery, which is especially important for working dogs and sporting dogs. Stretching can help relax your dog, and because of the increased amount of time you'll be spending with your dog, you can actually increase the bond between you and your pet. Before you stretch your dog, it is important to make sure the dog is warmed up. Usually a five to 10 minute walk or something similar will suffice in warming up the entire dog and all of their muscles. So today, we're gonna show you how to stretch both a rear limb and a forelimb. So we are going to start with the dog laying on their side. It might be help helpful, especially in the beginning, to have some treats on hand to encourage them to stay with you. We are gonna start with the back leg first. So a note here, whenever you're stretching, you do not want to pull or push on the joints. So we're gonna put our hands like this to support the limb while we flex his limb in towards his body. And I'm just setting a hand here so that we can make sure the limb stays in the same plane. We don't want the foot way up here or the knee way out here. And we're gonna push in till we meet resistance and hold for a count of 10 to 15 seconds. After that, again, we're not gonna grab the joints. We're just going to use opposing forces lightly to extend his leg. And then we are going to extend the limb cranially, which means towards the head. Again, holding for about 10 seconds when you meet that resistance. And just to note a flyer here, he's an agility dog, so he's very stretchy. Um, your dog might not be able to go as far, and that's fine. Just use your intuition and listen to your dog's body. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that same motion caudally, which means towards the rear, holding for a count of 10. Then we're gonna kind of go back to where we started with the tuck stretch, but this one is informally called the fire hydrant stretch, and you'll see why in just a moment. So we're going to make sure this bottom limb is flat. It may be helpful to put a very light hand pressure there to keep that limb down. We're actually gonna open the hip away from the center of the body, somewhat like a page of a book. And then to do the opposite stretch to that, we're actually going to grab this bottom limb above the knee, supporting the limb fully, and bringing the limb gently across the dog's body. And this is an adduction stretch. And then we'll repeat. Ideally, we'd like to do three to five times through that whole rotation. We do the front limb very similarly. So just like the back, we're not gonna push on any of the joints. We're going to flex the limb into his body until we meet some resistance and hold. Then we're going to extend his limb by grabbing above and below the elbow. Extend the limb cranially, which again means towards the head. Hold for about 10 seconds. And then caudally. And again, he's very flexible, so your dog might not be able to do quite what Mr. Flyer here can. Then we're gonna do the abduction stretch with a light hand on the bottom limb, kind of opening his shoulder like a book. And then for the adduction stretch, we move this top limb out of the way, grab above the elbow and below the elbow, and gently bring that limb across his body. Same thing as the rear, you'd go through that about three to five times, ideally once a day if you're able. Um, and then once you do both of these sides, we would ask Flyer to get up, lay on his other side, and do the same thing on his right side. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or are still unsure of your technique, don't stretch your dog at home until you've consulted with your veterinarian or a certified canine rehabilitation practitioner. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.